Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Kevin and today I'm out at Skidaway Island State Park in Savannah, Georgia. I have my girlfriend Jillian, her dog Goose. We set up our little runaway camper. It's about 3.30 in the afternoon. The noceums are starting to come out and we're gonna go for some hikes and then we're gonna come back, enjoy the evening and uh, do some cooking. So something new here at the park. They haven't even been rented out yet, but they just finished building these yurts. They're really cool. I think there's uh, two or three of them. They got mini splits. So here's the inside. You got uh, bunk beds. Of course, you got the air conditioner over there. You got your kitchen table, some cabinets. You do have a ceiling fan with a nice skylight. That's pretty much it. So we made it to the boardwalk that goes out to the observation tower. Really beautiful out today. I think there might be a shower coming in a little bit later. Goose place. Good boy. You're not too sure about it, are you? Looks like we had a new power bank that showed up, so it's time to go ahead and open it up and take a look at it. Just inside the lid of the box was this tiny little box, and it has all the power cords. It's actually pretty nice. It actually has the M4 connectors for hooking up a solar panel to it. So um, I already have some solar panels at the house. We're actually going to put one on the camper, and this will actually go and connect right to the uh, solar panel. So that'd be pretty nice. Of course, you got a little instruction booklet right there. First impressions, I think the handles are kind of dumb. They could have just had a solid handle there you could pick up. I don't know why it needs all that action right there. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can turn this thing on, see how much power it has. It's only 10% battery, it's pretty unfortunate. Got the buttons for the AC, USB, 12 volt. One thing I do like about this one already is it has a wireless phone charger on top. So when I'm filming with my iPhone and in between the filming it and using it for pictures and stuff, I can just set it right here and it can uh, charge pretty quickly. So that'd be pretty nice. Not having to worry about finding a cable or plugging it in and out and all that stuff. One thing I do like that my Rock Pals and a couple other don't have is they don't have this light on the back. It comes in really handy when you're trying to set up a tent and stuff like that at nighttime. You don't have to search for your headlamp or anything. You just pull this out, set it on the ground, and it's bright enough that it'll light up the whole area where you're trying to set up your tent. So there's high beam. It has low beam, high beam, and probably SOS. Yeah, so it's got SOS. That's pretty common across all of them. So these LED lights, I get a lot of questions about them. They are waterproof, fireproof. Ron and I actually threw this in a fire for roughly 25 to 30 seconds and took it out and it didn't even turn black or anything. So it's got a pretty good fireproof rating. And here they are turned on. They give a lot of light, especially in pitch black, when it's absolutely dark outside. You can see probably a good 30 feet away from wherever you have this set up at.
you don't like that, then we just need to. So tonight we're celebrating my birthday and I'll show you guys later. Julian decorated the inside of the camper really neat. So she went ahead and made some uh, salted margaritas. I got watermelon. She's got mango. So So before we get carried away with cooking dinner, I'll go ahead and show you the inside of the camper. Um, I like John Deere tractors and farm equipment, so Julian got a happy birthday with the John Deere tractors. Um, of course, we got the flooring down now. We got the little cabinets. We got the LED lights going all the way around. And she got me raccoon balloons, the cutest things ever. Then we have our bed, and it's built up off the floor so we can actually store things underneath it. And uh, she just hung up some blackout curtains, so it'll be nice and dark in here. Goose won't be able to tell uh, when it's morning so easily. So, she did a great job. Those right there look absolutely delicious. We only have two peppers left. Corn came off the fire. It's nice and hot, should be perfect. I don't think it dried out at all. Here's the steak that I cooked for myself. And then here's Jillian enjoying hers and Goose always trying to get some scraps.
So Jillian's actually working in downtown Savannah this morning. She left about 6.30. She'll be gone until about 11.30 this afternoon. So Goose and I are here. We're gonna go on a hike in a little bit, but we're actually packing everything up in the camper because when she gets here, it's gonna be time to check out of the campsite. So we're gonna have everything ready so she can just back up to the trailer, hook up, and then we can roll out. So uh, yeah, it's been a pretty good morning. The bugs are not bad here, surprisingly. I thought the no CMs were gonna be horrible since we're so close to the coast. It's so cold. So that about wraps up our overnight trip to Skidaway Island State Park. This is just outside Savannah, Georgia, and we just finished our little hike. It's about a mile and a half. Uh, some boardwalks, mostly shaded. It was pretty nice if you come out here. Uh, just don't wear really nice tennis shoes. The uh, trails do flood with the incoming tide.